How's it going, everybody? Uh, my name is Kevin Poon, uh, born in Hong Kong, educated partially in Hong Kong, uh, lived in Chicago, Vancouver, Los Angeles, and now back here. I am a entrepreneur with a lifestyle focus. So I've started with a sneaker store called Juice, which is a select store. Our own clothing brand called Clot, which is a streetwear brand, sold in lots of different countries around the world. A lifestyle design store called Wow. A chain of coffee shops called Elephant Grounds. A deli called Morty's. And a Spanish restaurant in IFC called La Rumbla. Also uh, a gym in Central called Top Fit and actually a distribution company called District, which we distribute some lifestyle products. So that would be kind of what I do in a nutshell. Early on, I knew that I wanted to create something with, especially, you know, talking to my friends, just having the idea of having a desk job, a nine to five was really kind of scaring us in the, in the, in the negative way, just because, you know, we feel like there's two types of people in the world, right? One type of people that, you know, you work every day executing other people's dreams, or you take matters in your own hands and you kind of come up with your own dreams and get people to buy into that dream. And then people, you know, have that common goal with you. Growing up, we were really passionate about basketball and basketball was really in our kind of core DNA because it teaches you a lot about teamwork. It teaches you a lot about winning, it teaches you a lot about handling how you lose. Also, you know, part big part of basketball is looking good on and off the court, right? So I think we were really big into sneakers. We were really big into Michael Jordan at the time. And that was kind of our whole world, you know, basketball, music, looking good fashion, sneakers, and that was all really kind of in our DNA. And these are our passion and this is what we were interested in. And then there was an opportunity because as I was doing this internship, I uh, uh, that turned into a real job. And then I got fired from my job because I was too focused on doing, you know, I was daydreaming or whatever it was. And I had an opportunity to, well, I had no choice because my visa got expired and I had to move back to Hong Kong because my parents like stop mucking around you need to come back and really kind of be serious about your life and this was like when I was like in my early 20s and then um, we started looking around and seeing hey how come you know in Japan there's all these cool streetwear stores or s cool stores at the time we were looking at brands like Bathing Ape or Neighborhood or even Visvim and how come there wasn't any comparables in Hong Kong and so we found kind of an opening and we thought, hey, this could be interesting to put in a store all the things that we liked that was hard for us to get, be it May sneakers or collectible figures or t-shirts or hats or any of these type of things. And that was kind of the beginning uh, focus on Juice as a retail outlet experiment. When we first started, you know, the idea is quick and, you know, my dad always used to say, hey, starting a business is easy, but sustaining it is where it becomes challenging and we had no idea what he was talking about because you know as a young person you don't really think about the consequences you don't think things out that thoroughly and that's also part of why it's cool to be young because you don't think about it that much and so without thinking about it too much we went to incorporate a company and we rented a place but no one had accounting backgrounds and we were unpacking our own boxes doing invoicing you know it was a lot of work, but it was fun at the same time. And you know, some of the roadblocks I remember was we didn't really know how to kind of uh, do the year end audit, let's say. And we were like, oh, what is all this, you know? And so finally, you know, we, we knew how to hire an audit firm or an accounting firm to help us with a lot of stuff. But every day up until now, there's challenges even every day. And you know, I was just leaving the office and there was challenges uh, from then, you know, so every day is a challenge and every day is something new.